Okay, let's see, we want one. All right, cool. You keep it focused on the cylinder. Hello there, YouTubers. This is Eric Greenmeyer and my son Tyler. Turn around, let them, let them get a look at you. No, not me, silly. He's my camera assistant. What we'll be doing today is breaking the glaze in a cylinder. Uh, this cylinder specifically is off a 1988 Kawasaki X2 jet ski, which was in need of just piston rings. We are gonna show you how to break the glaze so you can just install new rings. Now you can only do this if you don't have any real bad scratches on your cylinder. And from the looks of this cylinder, try to get it in a better shot here. You know, it just had my minor, you know, very light scratches, minor use. The rings were worn, we had compression, okay? and it's just a ring job. Now, I did one cylinder, I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. I did this side already. Uh, that little bit of residue, that's just residue from the WD-40 and stuff. So that's what it really is supposed to look like. You just wanna cross hatch it, break the glaze, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, tool of choice, I'm just using a, you know, cheap old fashioned cordless to wall drill, I don't know, nine volt battery. And the tri -hone, that's a craftsman tool. Yeah, buddy, what's up? Yeah, that's okay if that fell. So, tri blade holder, okay. Stones are pretty worn on it, but <laughs> let me tell you, this little tool here has done its fair share of uh, cylinders, all right? So I'm gonna give the phone back to my assistant. Okay, hold it like that. Okay. So, can you see all this time? Yeah. All right. And kind of important to set the clutch so you don't wreck anything. Now, it's also important to use WD-40 when you do this, okay? You want to coat the cylinder real good. I spray a ton of it in there. Just insert like that. And you don't want to go too fast, but the key is to keep it moving in and out to break the glaze and give you your cross half section. The crosshatch section is what's going to give your new rings a chance to bite the cylinder, break in, and seal. Now remember, you have to make sure you don't have any deep gouges that you need to be bored. This is very simple, just a ring job. So if your cylinder's got big gouges in it, you know, unfortunately you need to get a cut, but, you know, very slow like that. It's good to use a variable speed drill. This one's the two speed, so that's high gear, like that. But as you're doing this, you do want to spray WD-40. Now you don't have to use WD-40, but I find it works the best. It lubricates the stones and allows it to cut the cylinder, make it nice, nice. You getting this time? Okay. Yeah. So, let's see if I can get a real good shot of it. I went out too far, hold up. And as you can see, this one's got a light scratch in it. But that's a very light scratch, that's fine. That's just a little stuff more. We can hone that right out. Now also by doing this, people think you're taking a lot of material off the cylinder, but you're really not. What you're doing with these stones and the WD-40, you're kind of like wet sanding it. Yes, you're removing material, but at the same, at the same time, you're polishing it and, and breaking all the nastiness off so that the new rings can see. So, yeah, you are taking a little bit of material of it off, but it's not a lot to make a difference. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, people do go, oh, you can't do this that much, but it all depends on your cylinder. So, a few minutes of this, back and forth, and then I'm going to get a rig and show you what it should look like. Ty, can you get that? So, so you clean the WD-40 off, and it did 
bring back a shine. Actually, that does have a pretty good gash in it now that I'm looking at it. Interesting. Hmm. This one was fine. Yeah, this one was really good. I don't know. We might need to take a look at that. But anyway, this is how you break the glaze in a small engine cylinder. Hope you all liked it. Try to keep it short. And there's a spider on the floor. A spider. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Get you next time. See ya. Part two. All right. Hello again. Part two. Very short. We just got done hoeing the cylinder. I want to give you guys the final results. I'll give it off to my little son over here to hold the camera. I did notice a small scratch, like I said in the last video. You could see it. I'm trying to get the camera to be right there. Uh, yes, let's see if it'll focus in. Well, not really. But it does have a light gouge in it. Yeah, you can see it right there. You can't feel anything down below, but you can feel a little itty bitty bit right there. It's probably a half a thousand. But if you check out the top of it, it goes away. So it looks like the motor ate something. I don't know, whatever. But I'm gonna run it instead of reboring it because you know you'll get a little bit more wear out of the cylinder if you just throw some new rings in that. Uh, I'll show you how we cleaned out the side. This is the paper towel. Now this I missed, this I didn't get to yet. This is very important. You see the paper towel? See all the nastiness on it? Well, guess what that is? That's a material that your stones clean. It's extremely important to get that material out of your cylinders before engine installation. Why? Because if you don't do that, you start it up, it'll run for about an hour and it'll eat itself to death because you've left abrasive in the cylinder walls. So, I know the women don't like it, but unfortunately, you have to come near the kitchen sink for something like this. Run some hot and soapy water. You know, Castor Super Clean Soap works real good. I bought that purple stuff from Walmart, I'll show you. Yeah, purple power, it was four bucks. Threw it in a Windex bottle and off to the races. Hit that, spray it, let it soak, rinse it off. And uh, as you can see, that's what it's supposed to look like without the scratch, obviously. Get this side. See the nice cross hatching? That's what you want right there, babe. Look at that. Nice, nice, nice. That'll give your rings a real good seat to bite on. Okay? So I hope this video helped out somebody. And uh, remember, clean it up, bolt it on, and that's it. You're good to go. Hope oh, fun. I don't want I don't want to say it again because that sounds stupid. But alright guys. Say thanks, Ty. Thanks. Say, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. You better. <laughs> Peace out, everybody. Thanks. Peace.